guys, it's Beverly. I want to show you what I've been working on and works in progress and stuff that I'm behind in. <laughs> um, I finished my corner to corner and it's 40 inches square and this was the Karen cake in red velvet and it took me three Karen cakes to finish this so it's finally done and I'm behind in my Nan's next knots uh, last week's color was warm green and I'm using yarns from the Dollar Tree and then this week's, because to, to this uh, video was taped on Friday, so yesterday, which was Thursdays, when she comes out with her new color, and that was color number six, and this is light mauve. So I'm two colors behind, so I got to get started on that. Um, I also started a. Um, pocket shawl so I want to show you that I'm going to pause the video okay I'm back um, this yarn here uh, it sure isn't coming out the correct color sure it's coming out blue but it's not blue it is teal so you really can't no way can you see the, the color but anyway, it's the Impeccable from Michaels. And I have three skeins of this. And it's a... It's a number four. And it's recommending a H hook or a five millimeter. And it's 100% acrylic. And this yarn was uh, given to me in a yarn swap so there's like no way this is not coming out teal but it's definitely a beautiful teal and what I'm making with it is a Marley bird pattern and I will link it below and what it was was it was her turkey trot crochet 2020 and I'm going to link on the main page of the turkey trot below and what you do did was over a period of three to four days uh, before Thanksgiving or maybe starting Wednesday before Thanksgiving I don't know the dates will be there but anyway I didn't have time to start this and so um, kit from all things knit and crochet with kit uh, we did a yarn swap. I sent her some wool, and um, she sent me this impeccable. And I've been waiting to start this. At the time that this turkey trot was going on, it was a mystery. So you didn't know what it was going to come out to be. The pattern is for sale, and it's there's a link to the ad-free PDF on Marley Bird's site, and that will be included. And I'm really liking how it comes out. Now, this is one of the pockets. And if you can see the stitch, let me see if I can adjust the lighting a little bit. But see, it's still coming out blue. Let's see if I put a paper behind it. But you can see it's making these like ridges. And it's using what is called a linked double crochet see so, oh there you got a good look at it there and the pockets are seven inches deep and they're 30 stitches wide and I just loved the stitch it's real easy she has a tutorial on how to do the linked double crochet then you start, 
she wants you to make both pockets. Well, I decided that I'm not really sure how much yarn I'm going to have. Because uh, it calls for more yarn than I have. I She wants you to chain 75 to start the shawl part. And I did change the sem chain the 75. But then I got to thinking that was way too long or wide. And um, I stopped at 60 and or 64 because she said uh, you change 60, 75. And then, of course, you do a single crochet, so you skip one. And so I did 64 single crochets, and then I started um, with the pattern. And the next unusual stitch that I'm learning is, oh gosh, I thought it was right here. Um, the shallow front post half double crochet. And what that is, is you just catch it at the top of the stitch. Instead of going the post around the whole stitch, you just catch it right under the little V's of the stitch. And again, she has a tutorial. And that made this beautiful row. Let me see which is the right side. Yeah. You can see that we've got our single crochets. Then we did our uh, front post, but it was just grabbing the top, the shallow. So you don't go all the way around the stitch, you go around the top post of the stitch. And then you do, um, then you do the front post, back post, okay? So I did that. And I have, um, I think it's nine rows to finish that. But this is a really great pattern. And you're learning new stitches. And there's a tutorial to help you along the way. So that's what's really cool about this. Now, when you go to her website, this pattern is for up to a, from a small extra large, which would be the 75 stitches across, a... And then a 2X to a 5X. So you can make this shot for any size person. And so what I did was I went to 64. And see, there's my pocket. I'm still going to have plenty on each side of my pocket. So that's why I took it down to 64. And Because I'm more interested in making the length. Now, the, I didn't see the actual length here. But I'm sure I'll come across it later. But the point of this, I want to mention it, is it's teaching you some new stitches. It's a challenge. I love working with this yarn, this impeccable. I, I haven't worked with this impeccable from Michaels. Uh, I've heard about it, and I'm happy that I'm using it. And I thank you, Kit, for the yarn. And um, what you do is there's different days. So you keep going back to the main page, the main page. And then you have to go to the link for that page. So it might be, you have to maneuver around quite a bit. And it looks like you go day six. So it could be a six day project or however how long it takes you. It's going to take me far longer than six days. But that it was, the pattern was introduced over a period of six days. And uh, I never did get to see what the finished project uh, looks like because I didn't buy the pattern. I'm doing the turkey trot from her website and so far I'm loving it and loving working with this impeccable yarn and everybody loves teal. Okay now I finished this pair of socks okay and you're going to notice that the pattern is different slightly on the second sock from the um from the cuff to the heel the they're the same but then um i didn't want to make that many joins in the foot because you know that every time you do that you have to hide your stitches and 
you don't want to cause a knot that somebody's going to walk on. But I got these stitch, these socks done. And I don't know if I mentioned in the other video that two pairs of my socks did go um, in our donations. And the guy that picked them up, he looked really happy to get them and knew right away where he wanted to send them. So that was great. And I'm looking forward to doing more socks. Um... And this pair, again, was made with the Premier uh, Wool-Free Sock yarn, okay? And even though this is one-ply yarn, I've been using the size 6 9-inch Chai Goo needles. And you can see, it's a dense fabric, there's no holes, and I'm loving it. Then, I started another sock. Because I'm, I'm just enjoying this so much. And this yarn is green. Again, the colors aren't coming out good. Green and navy blue and a little bit of a uh, lighter green. And this yarn came from Germany. And so, of course, I can't read the label to tell you what color it is. But it, because it has a shade number. And this is Superwash... Uh, 75% and uh, 25 polyamide and I'm loving how these are turning out so I'm going to be knitting these and then I just wanted to show you what I got from Darn Good Yarn uh, I really got a deal on this from Darn Good Yarn um, I ordered the bundle and it's a self-striping uh, Alana sock yarn bundle and they have two color bundles a bundle A and a bundle B and normally this yarn sells for $30 a box and this would go with their um, sock of the month club okay and it has enough yarn in here to make up to a size 9 in knitted or crochet. And the colors are wound up for you into a ball. And they're supposed to be, when you pull them out, they're supposed to match. And you get the pattern book. And I think it's $30 a month. I'm not positive. The reason I say $30, I'm not positive is because when I purchased them, I got three in the bundle, and they're different colorways. Um, color 61, color 54, color 53, okay? And it says that it's normally $90, and I got it for $25 plus shipping. So, I thought it was a really good deal. This yarn is all number one, super fine, made in Turkey, and super wash and nylon. So, I'm again, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the number six Chai Goo needles, and um, I got a pattern book for two of them. So, like this. You know, goes with this and has a knit and a crochet pattern on each one. This one pair of slippers I think is really cool. I don't know if it's in this box, but I got it on their website. Oh, and they also emailed me a link for eight patterns, sock patterns, four knit and four crochet. So that's what I got from Darn Good Yarn. Three boxes, three pairs of socks, pattern books. Uh, eight patterns in a PDF for $25 plus shipping. So I'm going to be busy making socks. It's not going to be just a sock channel, but I'm really enjoying it. And um, I got to catch up on my Nan's Nuts Knots. Um, I signed up for the Mary Maxim Afghan Club. And I think that's been shipped because it's like a four-pound um, box. 
And so I'll be getting that and showing you. But some of the other ladies have been getting it too. And the pattern for this quarter, it's quarterly club. And the pattern for this quarterly club, I really liked it. And I want to make it. So that's why I went ahead and subscribed. And I ordered some more sock yarn because it was on sale. And I think I ordered some Premier sock yarn. Because I want to make socks all year long, I think. And um, I'm still perfecting the, the heel. And I found out um, that what I'm doing is I'm doing the stitches correct, but they're stretching. So that means I got, when I'm doing the heel part, I got to kind of keep it more condensed and not let the stitches stretch out of shape. So that's what's going on. If you guys have any ideas about content for the channel, please let me know. Please subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up. And happy knitting, happy crocheting. Love you guys. Bye.